Yo, what's good guys? Another video here. Today we got John Richardson's best comebacks. Jimmy Carr versus John Richardson. 8 out of 10 cat does count down, even though it just says cats does count down, because that's the actual name of the show. I, yeah, cool. Let's get it. Right now. Go. Yeah. Hello and welcome to Edit of 10. Subscribe, because if we somehow hit 100k, I'll go skydiving. Probably won't happen though, but it'd be cool. Cats does countdown, a show about letters, numbers, and conundrums. You can play along at home or you can go to bed. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Night night, sleep tight. <laughs> okay, let's meet tonight's players. First up, it's team captain John Richardson. <laughs> John's wife once said they don't have any nice pictures of them as a couple, and that's because John's in all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing as funny as the idea that you say night night sleep tight. <laughs> you do not say night night sleep tight. You don't say that. Say so night night. Yeah. You blow a little kissy. <laughs> I didn't say anything back, of course, because of the ball gag. <laughs> <laughs> do you, what do you say at the end of the? What do you say? I say right. Piss off then. <laughs> <laughs> That's as much of me as you can handle, is it? Oh my. <laughs> We not even a full minute into this and I'm already done. This is why I love this show, man. Like, this shit's just too funny. I, I can't. I just can't with y'all. Like, y'all make me... Like, y'all got me to watch this shit and I'm obsessed. Like, I'm addicted. It's unhealthy. Because the shit's too funny. Like, fuck. <laughs> John was born in Lancaster, which is about three miles east of Morecambe, 20 miles north of Preston, and 50 years behind London. <laughs> Fair enough. And joining John tonight, joke, it's David fair. Mitchell. <laughs> Looking at David and John together there, just turn back the clock 30 years and you've got every bully's dream. <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly as well, 30 years ago I was three years old, so that's a pretty harsh bully. <laughs> Yes, I was. <laughs> John is an old man. Ah, that's great. But, yo, seriously, though, can somebody break down the, like, 50 years behind London, blah, blah, blah. Like, obviously, I get that the joke is it's, like, fucking backwards. But, like, yo, what's the, what's up with this town? Why is it like that? Obviously, it's a joke, but still. I'm guessing most jokes are based in reality somewhat. So, break it down for me. And in a young man's body, his personality is actually eligible for the winter fuel allowance. <laughs> <laughs> I like that because in it I made some money. Hey, fair, fair enough. John has many talents such as worrying, having an annoying voice, and dressing like a driving instructor. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't wear something this snazzy if I was on a driving lesson. Can I just the say this evening you are wearing pure John Richardson? Thank you. I mean, Thank it you. really is like it's a shade of mustard that only you could have found. <laughs> <laughs> So, see, that's sort of Captain Kirk yellowy green, isn't it? It's more like baby's poo. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, Sean. <laughs> 200,000 trees are cut down every year to make Christmas uh, cards, which is why God. so many of them feature homeless robins. Yes, John Richardson, hilarious, brilliant and confident are all nine-letter words John might get tonight. <laughs> Did you just count up the letters in all those words? I'm still working on it. <laughs> Biting my tongue long enough about the fact that a robin is a hedge-dwelling bird and not a tree-dweller. But... <laughs> John appeared on the TV show Comedians Watching Football with Friends, I assume, alone. <laughs> I watched it with my best mate, actually. Claire Sweeney off of, uh, off of Brookside. Oh. Do you still keep in touch? Uh, I follow her on Twitter. Oh, damn. My best mate. <laughs> After you. And you. We're best mates, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just do a joke about me being small and let's move on. <laughs> uh, fun fact, uh, John is short for a man. Five foot two. <laughs> Can, can we just talk about how yo yo Jimmy you you gotta you gotta adjust that shit you can't let the guy you're bullying already know what you're gonna say before you bully him nah nah you you gotta switch it up now uh, no you can't you can't use short jokes for a little bit now because yo he's too used to it you got you got switch it when up when he was younger John didn't want to be a comedian congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> 
and John's teammate Sarah Pascoe. I wanted Sarah to feel as welcome as Miles. <laughs> was that as high? Did you know it was going to be that high pitch? Oh, I can go higher, mate. <laughs> what? You're listening to a man who's got a communards album. <laughs> okay. What is the communards? Oh, what? my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is Britland, Britain. <laughs> Hold on. Reload that. that. Communards. Oh, what? my God. <laughs> This is Britland, Britain. Why, why does he sound like any old lady singing, bro? Like, hey, yo, go into a nursing home and tell, like, an old lady to sing. It's gonna sound just like that. Hold up. <laughs> okay. What is the communards? Oh, what? my God. <laughs> Bruh. This is Britland, Britain. <laughs> I had a suspicion you didn't have testicles. <laughs> <laughs> the word nebbish used to mean someone timid, meek, and ineffectual. Basically, it's an old-fashioned word for John Richardson. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. In the Farsi language, the term tiam describes the sparkle in someone's eyes when you meet them for the first time. For me, it's a sparkle I most often see in the glint of my headlights in the lay-by off the westbound A42 <laughs> outside Hemel Hempstead on Thursday nights. John got married recently, so sorry, ladies, but one of you had to make the ultimate sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you, mate, because you said A42 outside Hemel Hempstead, and the A42 doesn't go near Hemel Hempstead. Oh. <laughs> Exposed. Exposed. You'll find the A42 connects the M42 to Nottingham, so good luck when this goes out, mate. You're going to get absolutely owned. <laughs> Do you know what I love about John Richardson? Because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but that implies there is something. You're looking very rugged, I think. Yeah, I wasn't getting enough respect. <laughs> so he does look intimidated, like the yeah. king of the wing. <laughs> the, the nonce's wing. Oh, fuck! John is a real Christmas cracker. God damn! Hey, yo, Sean! You don't gotta do one like that. Cause I, I, cause I know what that means. Cause the UK has been teaching me. Don't try calling that. Hey yo, nah, you don't gotta you do it like you'll that. Get a very disappointing bang. <laughs> <laughs> do you know I feel honoured as well? Cause I think when you wrote that joke, you probably thought I could do that for anyone, and you picked me. <laughs> I'm really grateful that you think I'm the worst lay in the room. <laughs> I'm really grateful as well. <laughs> John has just had a baby daughter. Let's go. And I'm already back to my previous weight. <laughs> 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 we'll, we'll discuss that. He loves to be touched. Yeah. Oh, um, I know. I used to live with him. Loves mm. it. <laughs> loves every bit, don't you? <laughs> He's Congratulations really to John's wife. It took 12 long hours of pain, tears and drugs, but eventually, John <laughs> managed to get her pregnant. <laughs> 12 hours? <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Can you imagine? 12 hours. hours? That's all I'll do in my lifetime. <laughs> John is an obsessive well, organiser. Low key though. Nah, nah, something... Like, it gets to the point where it's not even impressive no more. So, something's just wrong. Like... You need to go get yourself checked out. Low key, like, fuck it, eh? So I assume he's tidied his personality away and now he can't find it. <laughs> Damn. Still finding new ground. <laughs> so many comedians now would be in the writing room saying, we're going to have to be nice about people, but you get in there Monday morning. <laughs> I still hate these people. <laughs> okay, John, have you got a mascot this evening? Well, what happens with this show, Jimmy, is I arrive all excited and I put my best cardigan on. <laughs> I like it. I like you've gone with a, a grey cardigan in case anyone got overexcited. <laughs> it's not the place for excitement countdown. Or is it? So I get all down. excited and then you bully me and you make all your jokes and then I get all <laughs> depressed. So I've been looking at how to make my spirits higher and who are the most enthusiastic people on the planet? Cheerleaders. I wanted sort of to reflect countdown a more mature cheerleader. So I got together a crack team of pensioner cheerleaders. Um, we got to the human pyramid. 
uh, Marjorie on top was unsure what a pyramid was. I said, like the tea bag. She got very excited. <laughs> there was an accident, three broken hips, an evening in A&E. So I've sort of cobbled together a sort of modern equivalent. So to raise... Cobbled together? What, what does cobbled mean? I've never heard that word in my fucking life. Like, that's one of those British words y'all got. What, what does that mean? Let me, let me know in the comments. Because I swear, like, I feel like everybody does it, but I notice it the most with British people. Like, y'all just make your own words. Like, you, we do the same shit, but you guys just do it so much more. It's my spirits with some chants. Please welcome Rico's old dear leaders. <laughs> Fans, let me see you clap your hands. Nice. Just a grey cardigan to stop people getting excited, is it, Jimmy? I don't think so. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go. That was awesome. Hey, yo, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I definitely did. Uh, if you did enjoy it, leave me a like. Come on, come on, leave leave your favorite idiot a like. Come on, I deserve it. Not really, but you know what? Do it. Just do it. Please, thank you. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that fun stuff. You know how YouTube works. Leave a comment. Tell me anything. Tell me what I should watch next. Tell me why I suck. Literally tell me whatever the hell you want to tell me. And yeah, we're out. Bye. <laughs>